welcome back to another video guys thank you guys for joining me your boy tony today so by now you guys should know that my bag is bugged my bag is bugged really wow so by now you guys should know that my bug is bagged and currently i'm running 195 tires in the front well i was currently running and the reason i say was is because last night when i went out with the boys it was a good night but my tire exploded and my theory as to why that happened is because whenever I would drive or whenever I would, it would just rub like crazy forever, forever. You know, I was doing that for a while. Ever since I did the job spin, those has been rubbing. At 195 tires is probably not the move in front. So I think it just got to the point where it just couldn't take it anymore and it gave out on me. So the car's stranded right now. So today is Sunday, called in the work like freed up my schedule because i gotta go save the bug man it's not even at my house you know that's pretty scary for me you know so i need to go get it uh right now i'm actually it's it's been a long long morning but i kind of wanted to show you guys so you guys know the struggle of a car guy so i'm in my dad's truck right now because we we went to two pick and pools we went to the one years to my house but apparently they're having a tire sale right now how convenient right but you would think but all the tires were sold out um, they didn't have any of my size. I'm looking for 175, 60, and 15. Yeah, that's the tire I'm looking for. I'm just looking for 175s in general. If they're a little bit thicker on the sidewall or thinner, it doesn't matter. It's going to look fine. It, if they're thinner on the sidewall, it might even actually let it lay on the ground. But we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves right now. Tires are $10 off right now. Uh, pick and pull. This is not sponsored, obviously, you know, but pick and pull used to sponsor your boy, you know? But, anyways. Uh, long story short, didn't have any there, so my dad said, hey, let's go to the one in the next city, and I was like, all right, cool, you know? It's better than having to wait for tires to get here, or me going to, it's a Sunday right now, too, so n almost no tire shops are open, and the ones that are open are gonna tax me for them tires, and the installation. So right now, we, we I actually went to the other peeping pool, and we found some on this, like, old, on this, like, su Suzuki, and you guys will see them right now. We found them on this su Suzuki, I think, am I saying that right? And basically, the tires were, were they, they look brand new, man. I'm excited to show you guys. But basically, they had the lock nuts on them. And I checked all over the car. The lock nut was not there. Like, the key for it was not there. Um, but my dad, being the genius he is, uh, we, he pretty much figured out how to take them off. We basically smashed, I think we broke it, actually. We smashed a, um, a socket in the actual key. And the actual lock nut, we smashed a socket in there. Like, we kept hitting it and hammering it and whatever. And my dad just put an impact on it and we took them off. I only finesse two because I only need the front two. I'm not trying to run 175s in the rear. That's way too small. I'm trying, actually trying to run the fatter tire in the rear. But I think that's going to have to wait till we get some wider rims in the rear or so something, bro. Like, the, the, the rims are OEM, so they're pretty thin. Uh, I'm getting out of my... I don't even know. I'm just rambling right now because I got like a I got like a 20-minute drive. <sighs> because long story short, they did not want... Their tires are $10 off. But if I bought them with the rims, since they're not... That's not the promotional item because it has rims on it. They wanted to sell them to me for 80 bucks. And I was like, nah, that's not happening, G. And I, was, and, and I told them, you know, can I return the rim later? They, they were just being difficult with me. So I had to go home, get an ax, get some pry bars. And right now we're going to take off the rim from the actual rear wheel at the pick and pull. Because these freaking people did not want to sell me the tires and then let me return the rim or whatever you know they're just being difficult with me so i'm trying to finesse these tires for ten dollars off for ten dollars i'm trying to finesse these tires man um they're, they're almost brand new man my dad's over there waiting for me because if we left them the tires would not be there i'm telling you all the good tires are gone these were on the car nobody could take them off that's why they're, they're that's why these are the good ones you know so i'm excited to go get them right now I don't want to complain, so I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm gonna pick it up as soon as I get there. I'll show you guys kind of how my dad does it. This is the weather that I'm dealing with right now. It's kind of rainy. Pretty gloomy day today. Pull up to this spot. But that's that's more for me, isn't it? Yes, yes. Some of them are just federal. Unas unas federal. Ah, that's federal. 
form form uh, what for formosa formosa no sé qué ya el nombre le pone una llanta ah, sí, no te... 55 65 15 ¿Qué pasó? 175, 65, 50. Temper la temperatura, ah. O oh, temperatura, eh. Eso mm -hmm. yo no sé, no. Eso vale, no sé. Ahí dice, ahí dice, te pones bien, ¿no es cierto? Y ahí dice. 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 ¿Cuándo se vencen las llantas, no? ¿Esta? Eh, no, el, el... ¿La oferta? Uh -huh. ¿Al 29? Estamos a 25 horas, ¿no? Sí, creo que era a 24, 23, a 29, algo así. Yo creo que toda la semana, pues. Okay. No, nah, mejor me llevo la esa que tenía ahí, esa es esa la que estaba buena, que estaba más o menos. Ya pero, para irnos porque pues tengo que ir por el bocha y. Pero luego si quieren luego me la llevo. ¿Qué? Esa, luego vengo si quieren mañana. Nah, pues si va a ir a Presno. Yo ¿Sí? nomás yo nomás no quiero encontrar. Por eso. De poquito. ¿Tú crees que dijo que no podía regresar? ¿sí? Sí. Desde, yo, no, yo no sabía eso. No, no te dije que aquel. Y luego salió y me dijo, déjenme las aquí, yo me la llevo. El viejo, ¿verdad? ¿no? Sí. no, si las voy a quitar, digo, las vas a sí, Voy a traer las cosas para pa quitarlas. Ajá. No, yo se las van a dar lo mismo. Hoy oh, sí, me van a cobrar, sí. Dijo. Dijo. Yo diría que mejor se la lleven y luego regresan bien. Dije, sí, pero si me acabo de decir que no, dije, ¿a qué estamos jugando? Eh. Otra vez. ¿1989? ¿Por qué no $10 para el carro? Oh, sí, yeah. ¿tienes el número? Sí, lo tengo. Tengo el número de teléfono del carro. Es $8. Ahí está la cara, la cara de mecánica. Era. ¿Ya fue? ¿De qué? Está picando ya la alarma, ¿no? Es un carro. Yo creo que es un carro, pero yo no me decía porque está lloviendo. Sí. Hey, Quitoño. Ya se armó. ¿Cuántas llantas son esas? Tres. Y las cuatro son siete rines. Siete. Siete, siete, siete llantas. Sí. Y ni gastamos que. Ni gastamos más de cien. ¿Está bien? One hour later. Nomás para que sepa el mundo que cosas así sí pasa, Antonio. ¿Cómo mira? Dios mío, mira. Pues ya no estaba la. Eso, esto es de ahorita, ¿no? ¿Eh? Esto es de... Pues ya, ya la llanta no estaba tan buena tampoco, ¿no? Ahora, mira nomás. At least, at least, it came out like a bandit, but at least it happened as soon as I got off the freeway. This happened. I was smashing, I was going like 80 on the freeway. They're not that good, see? They're kinda, kinda old and beat up and whatnot. Al puesto en lo que haces eso, voy a agarrar food. Sheesh! While I went to go get some grub, the homie got down. Some grub. Some grub. Later that day. Ooh, low key looks so good right here though. But look how terrible this is, man. Look at this. Jeez. Jeez, man. Look at this. Look at this, bruh. Is that from the other side? This from the other side, man. This thing messed up my fender, though. I can just smash that back in. My airlines are fine. Everything else seems fine. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué crees que se me hizo así, Dad? ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo? O sea... 
pues porque lo siguieron corriendo cuando, cuando la tronaron. ¿Y tronó feo, mira? ¿Qué es esto? Se calentó yo creo. ¿Eh? Oh, yeah, todo aquí está bien negro. Ahí andaba pegando. Yeah. Que los homies están pesados, ¿y no? Pero pues, bueno, pues, yo creo que nomás es eso, a ver. ¡Hora! ¡Mira nomás! ¿Tú crees? So I was talking to my dad right now, and I'm assuming this happened like this, and on the other side, the same thing, because it was just uh, hitting like right here. Let me show you guys where it's at. You guys see it? It's like right here, all hitting all of this right here. And it freaking cracked my pain and everything, bro. Freaking ruined this side. Damn, poor car, man. And then the other side too, I'm assuming it's rubbing probably even worse, since like that, that's, that's from it getting hot. That's why it bubbled up and it's getting like that. I let the homie drive. I don't know how you don't smell this or... I don't know, man. Too many questions. En realidad, en realidad, ¿tú crees que ellos sabe quién será? Pero ahí está ya nomás, te lo dejó así ya. Don't let people drive your cars. No, 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 no. no. Y esa tuvieron que verlo corrido y sin nadie. Pero eso... No, 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 no. Que si nomás lo salga, que no, nomás que no hay nada. Yeah. Tengo que quedar, pero no. Otra amarrada, mejor esta puede ser esta, para que nada desamarre ya. Ya está, ya se da, mejor. Aquí se. Ahí está, Daniel. Back with the wheel. I'm about to go put it on right now. These are, these are 175s, my, my original ones. Or the other ones that were before this were 195s, so this should avoid rubbing and this should let it sit on the ground or at least lower. Ooh, mucho más mejor, Dad. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mucho más mejor. Se ve más, ¿cómo te digo? Se, se ve, cuando lo veo, se ve más, como que tiene más sentido que allá esté más ancho la llanta y aquí esté más delgadita. No más de la figura, ¿y no? ¿Y no te hizo de? O sea, te ve mal. Como la figura de donde cabe la llanta, se ve, se ve más, se ve, se ve. ¿Cómo te digo? Con la otra llanta se miraba como que no se, no, no iba ahí. You know? Y ahora sí se ve como que. Ya, yeah, por eso digo. Por eso ahora sí se ve mucho más mejor. Mucho más mejor. That's it, lads. Darcy blows. ¿Los qué? Get it, boys. Time to go back on the road. I learned a very, val a very valuable lesson today. And I think I kind of learned it before, but like me being kind of nice and naive and wanting to share kind of such a cool experience that it is to drive cool cars, you know? I think that's why I, I did it so many times. And what I'm speaking on is letting other people drive your cars. Um, yeah, you guys probably already know not to do that. 
I, I personally kind of wanted like my close friends and stuff to like know what it's like to like drive this kind of car you know or my Z and you know like my Z also and to me it sounds like a great idea you know but like me and my dad just had like this combo and you guys might have heard part of it that no one is ever gonna treat what's yours the way you do you know so I mean it's, it's a learning experience man I, I was mad at first because of the fenders because I told you guys I applied to a show and I was trying to get in but then it became not such a big deal to me because I could getting mad about it is not gonna fix anything but I, I did want to go through those emotions and feel them and process them and you know what I'm saying deal with them because we're human we're supposed to go through emotions you know we're supposed to be able to handle them you know our emotions are not supposed to be controlling us it's supposed to be the other way around you know other people, I mean, you guys already know this and I'm pretty sure I don't need to convince you of this because, well, I mean, let's be honest, man, like, you, let's, let's, let's run through the story, let's run through the story, I, I want to run through the story so that you can understand, I can understand, and, and maybe other people that drive other people's cars can understand, you know, you built, you buy this car, man, you buy this car, you spend a lot of money, you know, you, you spend a lot of money to get a car, right, just, just, just the fact that you own a car is a big deal because you spend a lot of money, then, then I start, let's start making it, uh, like a modded car now we're talking sometimes even like this like the same price you paid for the car that's what you dump into mods because that's what i did for my z um this car i spent well over what i paid for the car on just mods but anyways my point being i'm not, I'm not trying to brag or anything i just wanted to put in some context for you guys let's be honest man you spent 100 hours more than 100 hours to be honest giving up blood sweat tears like you doing all kinds of extra stuff just to have your car the way it is the way you want it to maybe you guys are dedicated the way to the sport the way i am but that's that's, that's honestly me man I, I i bleed for this car i swear you know like it's all love it's, it's it's a real connection you know and other people and i and i thought i could share that connection i thought that the connection i had with the car and the drive like how it feels to drive and whatnot i thought i could copy and paste that into somebody else just just so they can experience it you know but you take away the hard work, you take away the ownership of the car, you take all you giving them is the privilege of driving, which is pretty much all you need to get the experience. But let's let's be honest, man. They're driving a car, they don't know how to drive, because they obviously are not driving this car as often as you do. They're they're handling a car in a way that they don't understand because they can't understand like if, if especially like someone that doesn't work on cars, they can't understand like what goes into building a car, right? So like in my case, I let one of my close friends borrow it or just drive it, I guess, you know, and that happened, you know, so I think for the next time, there won't be one, you know, next time there won't be one. Like that, that was honestly the last time, bro, because it's, it's happened before where I let people drive my car and then the next day I'm stuck dealing with having to fix the car, you know, of whatever happened the day before from someone else driving it. Something breaking, the car stranded, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and for me, it, it, it like it's like feeling when you work so hard for this car and you just see it dumped on the side of the road you know what i'm saying like that's such a that's such a feeling to me and i don't like doing that so i'm not gonna do that no more man you know i'm not we grind it now i guess just what i'm trying to say guys is like don't don't let someone else borrow your cars I, something that my dad told me too that i want to share with you guys something that my dad shared to me digo un dicho dice que el caballo y las mujeres no se prestan if you guys don't understand Spanish, that basically means women and horses are not shared. And it's a good, it's a good detail, you know? So I hope all of you guys, I mean, if you guys are late, somebody drive your car, it's like whatever, man. I'm not here to tell you don't do that or opposed to it. I'm just telling you guys kind of what I learned today. I like to spread knowledge and what I learned. And you know what I'm saying? Like, grateful on days like today for my dad. I was just telling him too. Uh, if he like he called into the work today too for a completely separate reason um, I called into like I told you guys earlier just to get this done and like luckily because of that my dad was able to help me with the car my dad was able to like tell me about the tire deal I pick and pull like my dad make this made this go a lot easier and I'm grateful for my dad I love my dad um, you know came to the local joint they fixing my my me up right now about to get the front passenger side tire on and they'll be ready to bag it bro so this is what it looks like put back together this is at 100 and it's at 110 psi freaking high hopefully me trimming it gave it the clearance i needed to move up and down without making a loud ass pops 
also tucked my wiring over there i just kind of zip tied it to one of the holes that i took out a bolt from from the fender for right now you know till i get something to hold it in but i didn't want it to rub because it was hanging super close to the tire since i tucked it underneath the let me show you guys i tucked it underneath the running board you guys can see there's a zip tie right about there holding it in keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going there's another zip tie right right there you guys can see that you guys seen that and it's just ran under the running board to the back no so i gave it a lot of play right here so it's just zip tied right here something like you already know how to pull up to my favorite spot caribbean vibes i'm gonna out for you guys so you guys can see it you know for the one time clean but it, it looks clean the fit is clean it don't look clean she's not used to that stage three you guys know you know this was a solid one not bad let me know what you guys think what you guys think about the homie's fitment though is he sauced up or what how do you think you're sauced up or what Kinda. I'm gonna lure it more from the front though. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's just pretty low though, I'm gonna get. If this video brought you good vibes in any way, shape, or form, or helped you in any way, shape, or form, please hit that like button, man. I really appreciate all of you guys. You know, it's it's it, it goes a long way, bro. Honestly, the like on this video goes a long way, man. Uh, if you guys aren't already, hit that subscribe button for some more dope content. You know what I'm saying? Um I hope you guys I, I love spreading good vibes, man. I, I hope you guys have an amazing blessed day. I'm about to enjoy the rest of mine. See you guys in the next video.